Hello, um, I welcome you to this lesson. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to detail KF beams. Okay, um, detailing KF beam is actually not a straightforward or easy stuff. So it's difficult to get um, real knowledge or material on that. But I want to take advantage and show you the easiest way to get it sorted out. Okay, uh, so if I think 2024, 2025, your work is going to be easy. Even the lower versions, you'll still be able to do that. But I always recommend now the 2024 or the 2025. Okay, that's what I'm using for my program. But before I move on, there are several features uh, that is not properly taught. Uh, I must say I am an engineer. I, see, I'm a civil engineer. I know and and we've been detailing for long i have a company that is actually into that we have structural engineers and we detail a lot of work we have clients like architects that we do that, that we do project for and all the knowledge we have accumulated up to this point we have placed them up into this revit structure 2024 so buy the course check the description now and then you will find the link there buy the full course and we will show you from beginners if you have if you're a novice you have no idea we have no problem with that if you have no idea about drafting but you know how to detail when you're an engineer and you want to come into the game i will show you from beginning to the end step by step item by item element by element so go in there check the description and then you'll be able to sort yourself out okay great so now let's move on let me show you how to detail or place the rebars in our Kev beams. So how do you do that? All you need to do is to select the member and then you come into uh, rebar, click on the rebar here. Okay. We've not done any settings, so don't mind. That's why it's happening like that. Now, when we come in here, we, I want to start with my, with my stirrups first. Now for my reinforcement here, I want to use 16 and probably not 16 M. Okay, I don't want the M at the back. So let me just edit. If I don't want, I want to use 16. Um, or I mean for my main bar. So all I need to do is just duplicate and call this 10. 10. Okay, I'll, I want to duplicate and create 10 for myself. So the bar diameter ought to be 10. And then the model uh, rebar should also be 10. And that should be fine. Okay, so I'm okay with this, but let me duplicate and create one for 16 itself. Okay. Assuming that's what I want. So I come into the diameter. I call the 16 and I come in here to, and I change this to 16 and that is fine. Okay. So this two is making it better for me and I am cool with that. So I say apply and then I will say, okay. So um, now to place your stirrups in here, let's select the rod we want to use. It's 10. So now to place it, this is what you do for care beams. We are not going to use any method. We are going to use the free form method. Okay, we're going to use the free form method. That one will work. The other one will not work. Okay, so you use the free form and then we are picking the aligned method. Okay, and then we are also going to use maximum spacing. Maximum spacing, let's say I want it to be 200 centers. So I come in to the rebar set to change it to maximum 200. Now I make sure the align is selected. Now I have to select all the faces. So this is the face. I hold the control key. This is a face. I hold the control key. This is a face. And then there is a bottom one at the, there's a last one at the bottom. Let me shift and raise it up. Um, okay. Okay. So all the four faces are selected. Okay. That's fine. That's what I want. So then when that one is done, just come to path, click on the path here and then select an edge. Okay. It can be any edge, but before you do that, before you click on this edge, come in here to see workshop instruction It's keep straight, change it to uh bend and then the style call it stairs okay if you want the hooks at the edges see hook at start hook at end usually our stairs has about 135 degree bends okay you can keep these ones there like that and then now um with the align selected all you need to do is just click on the edge okay 
and then you will say finish that's it the setups nicely please when we come in here let me press outside escape escape uh it's nicely shown but my detail level is medium let me move it to fine and you see this is it that's how it's placed so now we have placed the um now we have placed the setups we are we are coming to work on the main uh rebars okay we are coming to work on the main rebars how do i do that um the same way go back to select the concrete element and that's it then you click on rebar okay you click on the rebar and then i'm going to go to surface and not the align i'm going to go to surface i click on the start face correct then this is my start face i want this face then end face i want it to be at the back of it so this is the back one then where do i want to host the rebar i want i want it to be hosted on the top so i come in here to host surface and this is my host surface uh before i change anything the workshop instruction i have to change that to um bend so that the rebar will bend but the style i can't change it to <laughs> stirrup it's not a stirrup okay so i leave it as standard and that is it when you're done you click on finish the correct sign and that's it but the rebar i placed was 10 and that is something that i should have changed escape escape is something i should have changed but i can click on it select it and change it to 16 and that's fine okay 15 to 16 it has worked out so that's it you do the same thing for the bottom as well so let me show you that too quickly it's the same process don't forget it okay i select it then i say um rebar i choose the surface but you see when you choose the surface you must first click on the start surface before you select okay so here click on end surface then you you, you click on the end here and then what's the size of the rebar you want to use 16 um i want it to bend okay according to the curve um and then to click on the host i have to rotate this to the bottom because that's where i want to place it the bottom face okay i want to click the bottom face of it so now i come in i say um the i don't need maximum spacing all i need is to say i want fixed number okay fixed number and change it to three i'm not sure if i use the maximum spacing at the top but the best thing is to have the fixed number if you are placing that um, longitudinal bars okay uh, those moment bars if you are going to place them it's specific number you want to place so i choose quantity three then now i say host surface come into the bottom edge pop and then now i'll finish it and perfect the three is indicated there for me okay three is indicated there for me nicely okay the rest of it is adjustment if you want to have it placed in the first we we will have to select or um, probably place our constraints and everything don't worry you find that there's a link there that leads you to my complete course on 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 revit structure there we've talked about how to create uh, i mean how to model element how to work on the uh, curve element inclined elements round columns all those kind of stuff you can have them there okay so this is how we start our detailing thank you so much for time subscribe to my channel don't forget that subscribe to my channel press on the notification icon and then also like it so that uh, when i post new videos you're going to get notified and there's also one thing if you have any question place it in the comment section and i will respond okay i'll respond to you thanks so much i'll see you